Are you right now at the verge of giving up on life? Do you battle condemnation and feel inadequate? Is there a part of you that doubts whether God truly loves you? Would you like to better comprehend God's love for you? Life is full of uncertainties, but in God, there is an assurance of a beautiful future. Be inspired as you receive God's word that will stir up faith and confidence in the love that God has for you. Join us today on The Covenant Light. God can make a way where there is no
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's Covenant Light. And today we are going to be spending um, the day praying. Hallelujah. Um, This week, Pastor has been talking about Jesus being our Sabbath. And today we are going to focus on relationships. Glory to God. But before we do that, I just want to stir up your faith um, before we start praying. Glory to God. And if you're yet to send the link to someone, if you're yet to invite someone for the devotion, you can do that right now. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. And Lord, we give you the praise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You see, the Bible in the book of Hebrews chapter 4, verse 9 says, it says that there remains therefore a rest for the people of God. For he who has entered his rest has himself also ceased from his works as God did from his. And his rest there was talking about Jesus. So the scripture says that he, Jesus, who has himself entered into his rest, has ceased from his works as God did from his. Hallelujah. And the Bible in Matthew 12 verse 8 refers to Jesus as the Lord of the Sabbath. And when we're talking about Sabbath here, the Bible talks about rest. Hallelujah. And so it declares Jesus the Lord of our rest. It declares Jesus, the controller, the master over our rest. Hallelujah. And it's so interesting that when you check the Greek word for that word, let us labor to enter into God's rest. It says that let us use speed. Let us be prompt. Let us endeavor to enter into the rest that God has prepared for you and I. Verse 1 of chapter 4 of the book of Hebrews says that there still remains uh, a rest for the people of God. It says that the promise of entering into that rest that Jesus has obtained for you still remains. Glory to God. And today we are going to be praying concerning, or rather we're going to be praying in the area of relationships. And when I'm talking about relationships, I'm not just talking about marital relationships. You see, God deals with people and God will never deal with a man in isolation. Whatever God has committed into your hands to do, God needs people in your life to bring about the manifestation of what he has committed into your hands. For an Adam, there was an Eve, hallelujah. God said it is not good for Adam to be alone. And so he made help for him by presenting Eve to him. For that thing that God has committed into your hands, there are relationships that are needed in order for you to enter into that rest that God has prepared for you. For uh, Jesus, there was a John the Baptist who went ahead of him to prepare the way for him. For a, uh, you know, for a Jacob, there was a Laban. Hallelujah. When Jacob left his father's house, he didn't have anything, but there was a divine connection with a Laban and his relationship with Laban brought about the prosperity in his life. Hallelujah. The contract you are believing God for is, um, you know, needs a relationship for approval. The business that you want to start needs people to be engaged in in order for it to move forward. The job that you need um, needs someone to approve. Hallelujah. And so this morning, the Bible says that the promise of entering into God's rest still remains. Glory to God. And when we talk about rest, we're talking about rest in the finished works of God, in the finished works of Jesus. And so we are not begging. Hallelujah. You see, I love the word of God so much. And when you and I come into the revelation and the light of the word, the fact that everything that you need has been provided for, has been done, already has God's 
approval on it. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, it says that let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. Hallelujah. So that we can obtain mercy and so that we can find grace to help just when we need it. He said, let us come boldly. Why? Because the promise of entering into God's rest still remains Glory to God. I trust that you are ready to pray this morning. Hallelujah. And so we are going to be taken in the area of relationships, the things that God has prepared for us, the connection that you need to get the job, the connection that you need for that uh, project approval, the connection that you need to move to another level, the connection that you need to move to that place of promotion, the favor that you need. Why? Because the Bible says that the rest still remains for you. Hallelujah. And this morning we're entering speedily into it. Hallelujah. This morning we're entering promptly into that rest that God has prepared for us. Glory to God. And so right now I just want you to just yield yourself to the Holy Spirit as we begin to pray. This morning I want you to release your faith that today you are entering into the rest of relationships. Hallelujah. But, um, in the area of your career or business, or if you're a student, you are entering into that, you know, that place of rest. And also if you're married, you're entering into that place of marital rest in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sweet Holy Spirit, we yield to you right now. Oh, masala brande kosha talabarada bahaya. Ena mazaba russo katale bashandere bahaya. Ena zutale barandele basso katale bashatala bahaya. Father, we thank you because you have not called us to a life of toiling. But Lord, thank you because you have called us into a life of rest. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the Lord is my shepherd and he has prepared a table before me. Lord, we thank you this morning in the name of Jesus. And therefore, Lord, we declare by faith that every relationship that is needed for us to move to our next level in the name of Jesus. By faith, we declare that we enter into such relationships in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we are entering into divinely orchestrated relationships. In the name of Jesus, Male Paruso Kataka Yega Dala Bahaya, and Namasa Paruso Katale Mashandele Bahaya. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we enter into such relationships that are needed for our next level, that is needed for our promotion, that is needed for our elevation. In the name of Jesus, Ela Paruso Kataka Imbarande Masatalia, E Paruso Katale Mashandele Bahaya, Rabale Paronoso Katale Masataya, and Mali Ampa. Lord, we thank you because you are the God who can turn the heart of the kings. Hallelujah. You are the God who turns the heart of the kings in the direction in which you wanted to go. And therefore, Lord, in the name of Jesus, let the hearts of the king be turned in our favor. In the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, for every Joseph that you are placed in the workplace, for every Joseph that you are placed in the career world, for every Joseph in the business world, in the name of Jesus, we declare a divine connection, a supernatural connection to their pharaohs. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. 
Rande le bossa kataya, elama rande le masa katale ba rande le bossa taya, e paruso kata 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 le bashande, ela paruso kata kata le andara bahaya. We declare that you are arranging events in our favor in the name of Jesus. Events in the area of relationships in the name of Jesus. Male paruso kata kaya gada la bahaya, ena masa kale paruso katale basha katalia, ela barasa katale. Le bashan de le bossa, e na male paruso katali andara bahaya, e kante le bossa katali andara bahaya. In the name of Jesus, you know there's someone listening to me right now. It seems like you are always in the wrong, in the in the in the right place, but at the wrong time. It's like you are always in the right place, but at the wrong time. You get to that place. The moment the person that you went to meet left, um, you you submitted an, a, a project, and the moment you submitted was you know few minutes before then or days before then, the contract had been awarded to someone else. It's like things are always going in the opposite direction for you, and you've been wondering why. In fact, you're beginning to feel like there's a spiritual um, a spiritual direction to it. But right now, in the name of Jesus, we declare that that cycle is broken in the name of Jesus. We declare that your steps are ordered of God. And therefore, you are always in the right place at the right time. In the name of Jesus, you are always in the right place to meet the right person. In the name of Jesus. Kaleba satala bahaya. And now my lepa russo katakila na mosso katali under a bahaya. And la bashante le basa katalia. You know, God just showed me now that there's someone, there's another person in that category. But for you, it's in the area of marital relationships. You get into a relationship and things seem to be going on fine until when it gets to that stage where things need to become serious. And that's when the relationship hits the rock. Hallelujah. And this morning, in the name of Jesus, we declare that that marital cycle, that cycle of when things are about to happen for you, things just begin to go wrong. We declare in the name of Jesus that this morning, that cycle is broken in the name of Jesus. And we declare that you enter into, in the name of Jesus, I declare that you enter into that marital rest. Kaya basuta lianda. Enama zaparo sokataya. Rabale pashandele bahaya. Renoko sokatila mashantele bahaya. Rabale pando sunda la bahonte katalia. Rabale paru sokata kata kataya. Elama roso tele mashandele bahaya. Rabasotande kiandosa kananando zakatelia. Masa Paruso Katali and Rabahaya, E Paruso Katakatale Basha, in the name of Jesus, we declare that we enter into a season of marital rest, in the name of Jesus, rest on every side, Masa Baruso Katali Masatalia, E La Paruso Katakatali and Rabahaya, we speak to marital unrest, in the name of Jesus, Ah Salananta Kalibranta Kashakataya, we address marital storms. In the name of Jesus, and we declare the peace of God. Masela takande le bahaya, raba kasa katale bashante le bahaya, ele baruso katale bashante le bahaya, e masaka tala masa talaba. In the name of Jesus, we decree, decree an initiation of a season. Kale bashataria of marital rest. In the name of Jesus, divine relationships divine connections with the right people in the name of Jesus sakali ando sukatali andara bahaya masatali bando robo sakataya we declare that people are meeting the right person in the name of Jesus ale paruso kataki ando robo sakataya if you're trusting God for a marital relationship I need you to begin to declare that in the name of Jesus I enter into a season of marital rest God is divinely connecting me with the right person in the name of Jesus. I will not miss it, but I will get it right. I will not miss it, but I get it right in the name of Jesus. 
I step into my marital rest. Kaleba sandele bosha kataleanda. Ela paruso katale mashandele basa kataya. Ele paruso katayanda. Ena mala paruso katele bashataya. Ena male paruso kotore bashataya. Emara mane masa katalianda rabahaya. Ele poruso kotele bashande. Ena mala paruso katakata katalianda. Ena mala paruso katele mashata la bahaya. Ela paruso katele mashandele bahaya. Lord in the name of Jesus. As we enter into your rest, thank you for hope that is sparked in the hearts of people. In the name of Jesus, to that woman, to that man who is about to give up on relationships, to that man, to that woman who is about to give up on love, to that man, to that woman who is about to give up on their marriages. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Mala Parusa Kataya, we declare your peace. Lord, we declare rest on every side. In the name of Jesus. Rende kalian suso balata kalia dana bahaya masala patokora ne masatalia era pakoshande ena male paruso katakatalia dana bahaya ele poroso kota katakaya male masataya ena makasolanda sandele bahaya rakata katakale bashataya emali andoro boko sakatalia we come against the favor in the area of relationships disfavor. In the name of Jesus, we declare that the cloud of disfavor is moved away. Hallelujah. And Lord, we thank you, oh God, for a covering of favor. In the name of Jesus, where they have not been visible, Lord, let there be visibility. In the name of Jesus, kala baruso kataliyanta rabahaya, ela baruso katakadi barande le bahaya, raba kasa katele bosha katalia, ela baruso katakata karimanta raba, ela baruso kataki andoro bosha taya. In the name of Jesus, I speak to that young woman and I say and decree that you are becoming visible. In the name of Jesus. That the cloud of disfavor over your life is lifted in the name of Jesus. You come into that place of favor right now in the name of Jesus. Ela baruso kataliyanda rabahaya masela tosha nelemanta liyambra kataya ela baruso katele mashataya emali antu soba takaya rabale paso kandele bashandele bahaya masola ne kosha ena male parande kaliyanto shuda la bahaya ela baruso katakata katakla ele baruso taliyanda rabahaya marande masoko tole bashandele bahaya Lord in the name of Jesus. Let doors of divine relationships be open to us as we enter into your rest in the name of Jesus. Oh masaleta kandele bahaya doors into relationships relationships that are needed for our next level relationships that are needed for our promotion relationships that are needed for our elevation relationships that are needed for our divine placement in the name of Jesus let those doors of relationships be open to us in the name of Jesus every door of relationship that we need to walk through that has been shut we declare that there is an opening in the name of Jesus ela paruso katakali and brata kasakatali andar bahaya every door of relationship that we need to walk through that has become a wall in the name of Jesus we declare that such walls are broken down in the name of Jesus ela sapataki andar boko sakatali andar bahaya errata kataki andosha emali and paruso katakatakadia every relationship that ought to be in our lives that has been twisted by the enemy that has been manipulated by the enemy in the name of Jesus we declare there is a divine reverse in the name of Jesus things are turning around in our favor kale bashata kiando roboko sakataya ele paruso katakayando maraba le paruso katakaya ende le meshande ela maruso katalianta la bahaya e paruso katakatele bosha ena marata katakatakatakata masuna 
Kanda la Paruso Catalia, Massa Leteke and Dorobosha, in the name of Jesus. Every divine relationship, every relationship that ought to be in our lives uh, that has been manipulated by the enemy. In the name of Jesus, we declare that by the hand of God, uh, it is being reversed. In the name of Jesus, in our favor. Oh, Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Oh, shatale barane masa katakata karabahaya. I seem not to be able to get away from that prayer point. I know while we're praying, God just brought the story of Joseph to my mind. The Bible says that Joseph was in the house of Potiphar. And the relationship was so good that it made him head over everything in his household. That he put everything under his authority. And it was so perfect. I'm sure Joseph must have felt that he had come to that place of rest because he had rest. But suddenly, his wife rose up and manipulated that relationship to a point where it seemed like his, his life went in a reverse and he landed in prison. But God turned that situation around and he connected him to someone who brought about his elevation in the palace. And I seem to sense that there are people in that category this morning where you were in a relationship, whether a um, business relationship or marital relationship, but you were in a relationship that was going good. And suddenly the relationship was manipulated and things began to go in the wrong direction. And so today, in the name of Jesus, we decree that every relationship that ought to be, but was manipulated by the enemy, and it became a negative in our lives. In the name of Jesus, today we declare that that relationship is being restored In the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you for everyone that needs to be connected to a Pharaoh so that they can get into the palace that you have prepared for them. We declare that such relationships are divinely orchestrated and initiated by your hand in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree That every relationship that has brought unrest. As we declare that we enter into the rest of every relationship that ought to be. Lord, we also declare according to your plan. That every relationship currently in our lives. That has been a negative that ought not to be. Lord, by your hand, let such relationships be cut off from our lives in the name of Jesus. Every relationship that we're holding on to that has become a barrier, 
every relationship that we are holding on to that has become a negative, every relationship that we're holding that they were holding on to that have drawn us back in the name of Jesus. We declare that by the hand of God, such relationships are supernaturally cut off from our lives in the name of Jesus. We declare that we enter into the rest of God today and all things are working together for our good. All things are working together for our good. Thank you, Lord, for the right relationships. Thank you for the gifts of men. Thank you for the gifts of relationships in our lives. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. And I trust God for a spirit of discernment. That as God begins to cut off those relationships from our lives. That will not hold on tightly to them. But that we just allow God to do the things that he wants to do. And as God begins to orchestrate, divinely orchestrate the right relationships into our lives. That we'll also receive the spirit of discernment to see them and to embrace them in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, pastor talked about giving yesterday. And I just want to say something about that before I go this morning. You see, when God begins to do things... In your life, one way you can connect to it is through your giving. There's a power in the seed. You see, the Bible says when God created everything, the the trees, the fruits, the Bible says that he put the seed into every fruit so that the tree can continue to reproduce itself to the power of the seed. And so I want you to make up your mind to connect to the grace to connect to that rest through your giving. Hallelujah. Um, you know, we don't give to get blessed. We give because we are blessed. We don't give so that God can do. We give because God has done. Hallelujah. We are not giving so that we can enter into the rest. We are giving because we have entered. Hallelujah. Into our rest. And that was why a Solomon could give God a thousand bond offerings. Why? Because he said, for the Lord has given me rest on every side. Hallelujah. And so this morning, I want us to, to, to give, hallelujah, as God lays it upon your heart, glory to God, so that as we enter into this rest, we're saying, God, by faith, we know that these things have been done in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for being a part of today's devotion. Um, I declare that as we go into the day, hallelujah, that all things are working together for our good in the name of Jesus and that we experience the hand of God on every side. We see the hand of God in our lives and in every aspect of our lives in the name of Jesus. Welcome to your season of rest in Jesus' precious name. Do have a wonderful and amazing and a rest-filled day in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. See you again tomorrow. Stay empowered. Glory to God.